Here's a voicemail from one of our listeners in Minnesota. Hi, Pastor Israel. My name is Quinn. I've been listening to your podcast now for several years, and it's been so helpful. So thank you guys for everything that you do, and keep up the good work. My question is in regards to my fiance and I. We came out of a terrible drug addiction, and we've been sober now for five years. We met in addiction, got sober together. But in that, we developed a pretty strong case of codependency. <laughs> so we've been working on it and going to therapy and stuff. But I was just wondering, um, biblically, how what your advice would be as to how we can replace that codependency with a, a fear and reverence of the Lord and a dependency on Him. So thanks again. Thank you guys so much. Quinn, man, thank you for your encouragement and praise God for five years of sobriety. I want to, the first thing I want to do is just pray for you um, and for your fiance and just ask that the Lord continues to sustain you guys and also um, helps you to depend first and foremost on him. Um, and so, Father, I, I pray for my brother Quinn, Lord. Thank you, God, for the work that you've done in his life for the work that you've done in his fiance's life. And I pray that you would continue to sustain them. God, that you would give them many more years of sobriety, walking with you, pleasing you in all respects, being filled with your spirit and the fruit of your spirit, Lord. I pray that you would bless them with solid Christian community, that they would continually grow in an understanding of your word in an experience, Lord, of your love in Jesus through the gospel. And I, and I ask, Lord God, also um, that you would help them to rely first and foremost to depend upon you and upon your spirit for the strength that they need for everyday life, Lord, but that you would bless them also as they, as they encourage each other and care for each other as well. And so be with Quinn, be with his fiance, and thank you for them in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, so... Um, <clears throat> So, so here's what we want to avoid as the people of God. We want to avoid the, the sort of independent spirit that I think many people have today, the sort of I can do it on my own uh, without any help. I don't need the church. You know, I, I accepted Jesus into my heart. I got my Bible. Um, I can listen to Christian podcasts, you know, but I, I don't need anybody else. I can I can I can do the Christian thing on my own. That that sort of independent attitude, which is which is foreign to the scriptures. Um, so we avoid that that independence. Um, and we embrace, I think, what, what Scripture um, puts forward as a, as a kind of interdependence. We are dependent upon each other as the people of God. Uh, texts that I would go to are 1 Corinthians chapter 12, for example, where Paul says very clearly, Quinn, that each of us play an important uh, role in the body of Christ. Um, we're just one person part of the body, one piece of the puzzle, if you will, and it's only as the body is coming together and we're working together interdependent with, with each other that, that uh, the body builds itself up in love, as Paul says in Ephesians chapter 4. And of course, over and over again in Scripture, we have these one another's where we're called to bear each other's burden, um, to care for one another, to... Um, uh, strengthen the weak. And so and so I think in your relationship with your fiance and with the church, you can have that kind of interdependence, but you don't want to have the the kind of codependency that can be unhealthy. And I see that manifesting itself when when we begin to seek um, what we what we should only seek in God in another person and depend on another person for um, our ultimate well-being, if you will, is sort of looking to them as a kind of savior. Um, and at the end of the day, that's a burden that no human being can bear. Um, and it ends up crushing, you know, our spouse or whoever it is that we're that we're, you know, putting in that position that that really belongs only to the Lord. Um, and so in terms of cultivating, a healthy interdependence and rejecting um, an unhealthy codependency, I think it's realizing more and more that the source of our strength, the source of our life um, is from the Lord, the Lord himself and going to him and trusting in him, relying upon him um, for continued growth and grace, um, from for protection, lead us not into temptation, deliver us from evil, while also welcoming the people that he brings into our lives um, who are supports for us that we, you know, in, in, in a healthy way where we can depend upon each other. And so um, I would just encourage you through prayer, through the study of Scripture, and through healthy interdependence with the body of Christ um, to grow in in that 
and to fix your eyes more and more upon the Lord and depending upon Him for those ultimate things that you need in in life and and not placing that burden on on your fiance or on another person.